Hi there, Dukes here, back with an update on my N-Scale Shelf Layout Paradox Railroad. Um, I've got a uh, full shot here of the whole thing, and um, the track plan has changed after I did some testing and just looking at it uh, a lot. Uh, so here's the new uh, track plan. You can see I deleted a couple sidings. I had double sidings in a couple places and realized I didn't need those. Um, since uh, creameries didn't really handle huge volumes of traffic unless unless it was uh, in a big city. Anyway, um, I didn't need the big uh, set of sightings there or in the cold storage because um, it's not a it's not a, a very big facility. I think the big difference here, uh, as you can see, is on the front I sliced the fascia. Uh, at an angle so that I could uh, make it look less flat. I'm really terrified about this layout looking flat. So I've done a few things here to uh, hopefully negate the flat. And if we just look at this uh, one more time, you can see I dug this little kind of tunnel thing, a uh, little uh, outlet pipe drain sort of thing, culvert. And then here I use a router to make a gully that's uh, gonna go between the track and uh, the fence. And you can see where that marker is, that's going to be uh, pavement uh, for the piggyback loading area. And uh, I'm hoping that that uh, little ditch kind of gully thing will help break up the scene a little bit. Um, and like I said, it's going to fence on one side, I'm going to try to blend all that in. And I might put some water in there, I'm not sure yet, maybe put uh, culverts in there as well. Really not sure. So I also got a couple of my buildings this week. I got this uh, barn and shed combo uh, kit because I'm going to do like a small farm scene in this area. And I also got the Bagwell Junction uh, with the little uh, scooter, what you call it, track car thing and a relay box. It's a pretty nice little kit. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get that done. Uh, besides that, I have a couple other buildings that I basically am waiting to... Uh, get the funds to acquire and then uh, those will be going on as well and then I think I'm gonna start ballasting relatively soon so uh, come back for an update on the uh, railroad probably at the end of this month or beginning of next month and I'll probably have some stuff about uh, painting uh, custom cars in the middle here because uh, I got some custom freight cars I want to do some work on so uh, you might see that uh, on the channel soon as well so thanks. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep up with this and like these videos because uh, that really makes uh, a lot of stuff easier to do on YouTube. I know it sounds really cliche and dumb, but uh, liking videos is really helpful. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.